for a high road Heading for a better life without the heavy plights I've done my share of dealing I lied and I cheated too It's all behind me now And girl, I just can't wait to move on Come and walk beside me guys welcome back to my channel in today's video i got plenty of cleaning motivation for you because i filmed for two days Today's video, I will be bringing you double the cleaning motivation because this video is in collab with Cleosha J. You guys will love her channel. She gives you plenty of cleaning motivation. She is a mom of three and y'all, she is pregnant with baby number four. So y'all go ahead and check her out. I will make sure to leave her link down in the description box. But first, I started off with cleaning the kitchen because my husband and I finished making breakfast for the kids early that morning. We made bacon and it was my first time making bacon in the air fryer. So it was pretty easy and it works pretty well. And not to mention the cleanup process was a lot easier than cooking it on the stove or cooking it in the oven because even in the oven, the grease still pops, but everything was contained in the air fryer. So just in case you want to try cooking in the air fryer, I did it at 370 degrees. You could do it for higher, but I don't like mine super, super crispy. And I did it for 370, 370 degrees and then I put it in there for eight minutes, but halfway through, I did flip them over. I know I have mentioned this before, but you guys, I'm gonna be honest with you. I do not like this Mrs. Myers dish soap. I'm trying to use it up so I can put my Dawn dish soap in here. Um, it, I feel like it made my washing dishes process a lot longer because I had to constantly keep washing and washing because I still felt the grease. during this quarantine i thought i would be that mom that had everything scheduled out and i would make breakfast for the kids every day but y'all i'm gonna keep it honest with you this is my first time making a full-blown breakfast with my husband since the kids been in quarantine they've been eating cereal sometimes oatmeal um bagels with cream cheese whatever but y'all that's <laughs> It was my first time making a full bone breakfast. The, what I thought I would be like during quarantine has definitely not happened.
I have officially counted and I have actually mopped this floor four times this week because I don't know what it is about everyone being home. The floor gets pretty bad. It's now the next day and I want to give my bathroom a nice deep clean. Most of the time I give it a light clean because I try to stay on top of it but it's been a few days since I cleaned it so I'm going to give it a good deep clean. It's actually very dusty in here and the floor was more than due for me to sweep and mop and everything in there. I'm also going to clean the shower. You won't go get to see the full blown of me clean the shower but it gets done. The only place you won't get to see me clean it is the bathtub because the day before I had cleaned the bathtub because I washed my daughter's hair in there. So the night before our dryer went out completely, um, we've had this washing dryer for over nine years. So we're going to get some new ones. But in the meantime, a lot of the stuff is going to have to go outside to air dry. So I'm getting ready to also put the mats in the washing machine and then I'm going to let it air dry outside. So in the spray bottle, what I have is a cup of rubbing alcohol, one cup of vinegar, one tablespoon of Dawn dish soap, and 30 drops of essential oil, and then the rest is water. And it's literally my number one favorite cleaner. So you guys I broke down and got the Clorox ones I didn't want to get it because I was being cheap and I did not want to shell out the cash since I have three bathrooms so which means I would have had to buy three kits but I did it one of those nights has anybody else also been um, ordering a lot of stuff from Amazon so pretty much I ordered some and now they're here and guess what I am in love like why did it take me so long for me to order these Clorox ones
me, baby Or don't you care anymore oh, I know you're so much better than me But let's not count the score Let's not count the score so in this video, you guys, I was actually jamming. I was listening to Elevation Worship. I love listening to worship music. It gets me into that zone. And I always have to listen to something for me to get through with cleaning. The bathroom is my least favorite place to clean, but it's also my least favorite place to see dirty. I do not like to see a dirty bathroom. So I'm constantly cleaning a place that I do not like to clean, if that makes any sense. <laughs> It's very hard for me to film the shower part because of the way the camera is and then I don't want to get out of the shower just to be able to position the tripod again so you get to see me clean the shower just a little bit but not the whole thing. the shower the scrubbing bubble the scrubbing bubble does a good job normally I have my Dollar Tree dish brush that I normally keep in there with, with Dawn dish soap and vinegar but the one I had broke so instead I wanted to give it a deeper clean so that's why I used the scrubble scrubbing bubbles but the Clorox gel I used it on the mold that I have problem that I have at the bottom I think it's because I didn't leave it there long enough I'm gonna try it again and just leave it there overnight or something and see if that makes a difference because it took some of it off but it, it, it looks like it hasn't even been touched so I'm gonna try that again if you have something that you use that works great for that shower mold problem I have please comment down below and let me know because I'm gonna be doing some research or something because I want to get rid of that When I'm giving my bathroom a deep clean, I prefer to clean the floor on my hands and knees so like that I could also get the baseboards at the same time and I know that it's super clean that way.
saw you from the beginning You were clearly out of my league You didn't look at where I was standing I thought that we would never meet But here we are now Two rest of souls Lost in a room full of strangers oh, I wanna wash that fat look from your face And maybe you can keep me away from dangers Let's sneak out together, baby be y'all guys don't forget to go head over to Cleosha's channel and please check her out i know for sure you will enjoy her content and i will make sure to leave her link down in the description box give this video a big thumbs up subscribe to my channel if you have not done so already and keep a lookout for my next videos guys bye Let's make